will get us going here. Straight away, they're pressing. Well, the crowd are loving it. If they can get that to the bar line, lacrosse is there. Keeper can't get hold of it, but it's fantastic work from Mr. Jahan, the captain. Was that really out? Did the full ball cross the line? But it's only it. Bangladesh there showing their intent straight from the kickoff. They go and squeeze and press. Nobody wanting to take the kickoff for the UAE. No one wants <laughs> to give the ball back to the keeper. What's going on? In fact, even at the kickoff, Paul, you may have noticed uh, there was some confusion of who was going to kick off for UAE. They just seem a little bit unsure of themselves at the moment. Well, a very, very touchy start, shall we say, from the UAE. I'm not convinced that full ball crossed the line there. Yeah, I agree. Well, we do know that they're going to press high this Bangladesh side. And that includes means the keeper as well is going to be very, very high up, almost like a sweeper keeper. But there's a lot of flexibility and fluidity about this uh, formation. There is particularly when you're playing with wing backs because you can drop them back if you're under pressure and make a five and make it difficult to be broken down. But when you've got the ball and you're attacking, they can really bomb on. There you go, that's exactly what you're talking about there. She's out. Rupna getting an early touch of the ball. That's a nice for as well, isn't it? Keep us just to get involved early. Here's uh, Monica. Comes across to Shamshana. Nice little bit of footwork as well from Julie. Pushes that over the top. The keepers decide to stay on the line. And the flag has gone up, but well. Risky. That was close. That will have been very, very close indeed. Wow. The way that they have started. Aki did ever so well just to a little shimmy and a little dummy there just to beat the opponent before clipping that ball a little bit further forwards and well, it would have been interesting to see how close that actually was to being offside. Well they, they pushed them fairly high up as well didn't they? They put the ball over the top. So playing a bit of a risky game. Here's Nagis to Monica. Shamshuna taking on a couple of players. Shouldn't forget as well, she's at that. You know, I think ten of this starting eleven has played at the full international level in the in the SAF Cup. So that's going to give them so much experience, having coming up against the, the likes of Nepal and against India. You know, two strong sides in this region. So what they'll have gained from that will be so valuable in today's game. And you can see they're comfortable on the ball. Bangladesh don't mind getting it down and pinging it around. Yeah, certainly, you know, it was a baptism of fire playing in the, the South Championships with such a young team and obviously with a vision for the future. Let's overhit that pass back to Aki. Goes down the line. I've got to say, they're very comfortable on the ball, Paul. That's exactly what we just said. It's just a poor pass there from Shuri. Well, she's... Made up for that very quickly. Just comes across. Here is Monica. She's got space on the left there. Oh, and you can see exactly what she was trying to do. Set Krishna free there. Yeah, but did you see the way she dropped the shoulder to create and win that ball back before playing that? Wasn't a bad idea at all. I like her. Nice little player, Monica. Well, it's a bright start here from Bangladesh playing full of confidence at the moment. On the line from the skipper. And now, again, that flag has gone up. And there's margins here. I just wonder if Fatima wasn't just playing her on side. From our commentary position, you'll be able to see here. She, yep, she's just gone a little bit early. But she's got the pace. That's the frustrating thing. So that just all she needs to do is just hold a run yeah. and just wait for that ball to be played and play right on right. the shoulder. shoulder. Well, there's been a few offsides already for Bangladesh. UAE, though, have uh, barely gotten the ball so far. Just muscled off it there. Excellent work for Monica. That might be offside again. 
flag has gone up. Oh, there's no doubt that Krishna was offside. But that's okay at this point, Paul. They're just pushing, and they're, they're creating pressure, aren't they? Five minutes gone. There's been three offsides. They've kept the ball extremely well. They're pressing high up the field of play. They're forcing the UAE into mistakes. This is a very, very positive game plan that they've gone home with. Got to sustain it for 90 minutes, though. That's the flip side to everything. Yep. Great decision. We just looked there as though Sedat was being just took back slightly. But again, look, Bangladesh want to get on with things quickly and trying to take it quickly, yeah. but the referee not letting them. Let the game flow. I like the urgency shown by Bangladesh at the moment. <laughs> They just haven't allowed the UA to settle at all, have they? And that's good, though. You're the home side, you're hosting the tournament, you want to come out and impress. We know that the fans have got behind them when they've got in behind once or twice already, and they're in again. Now the flag has stayed down. A chance here, that's a, a vital, vital tackle that's put in. Had to get that absolutely spot on. Otherwise, it looked like a, a near certain chance, very good chance there for Shopna. And a great, great challenge in from Fatima. Brilliant, brilliant challenge this is, because as you can see, she's in behind, and she's just about to pull the trigger, but defensively, Fatima got that one absolutely spot on. Shopna, I feel she could have pulled the trigger a little bit earlier. This is good work from Bangladesh at the moment. An important touch there. Haki has gone quite far upfield, using her impressive stature there. Oh, and a very important touch again from Ada Jamal. Otherwise, Bangladesh were through. Yep. They're looking very, very good at the moment. Trying to get the cross in here, surely. That's the right decision from the officials there. Working hard for that. Well, Sahad. Rigging that for that throw in, and no surprises they won it. It's gone out for a goal kick. Yui have uh, really struggled to have any kind of possession of the opposition half. Bangladesh is quite happy to build from the back and then quickly launch forward. Always a sign, Paul, when the goalkeeper isn't taking goal kicks. You put yourself straight under pressure because you, you, you can drop, and that means that Bangladesh can push right on. And unless you've got someone who can kick it 50, 60, 70 yards, you are just inviting pressure. Yeah. here from Sarah. She's on her own though, needs a bit of support. And in the end, Samsuna gets the better of her. She just got clipped there as well, and you could see on the sidelines the coach just saying, hey, is that not a foul, not a free kick? They'll be delighted with this start here, Bangladesh. Oh, that's lacking. Here's a goal. They've had a couple of half chances in the box. Haven't really had a, a shot goal yet, but getting some great positions. Here's Fatima. Keeper rushes off. Rupna. There you go. That's, that's a big kick, isn't it? It's a huge kick. And I 
I think that's going to be a weapon there, Paul. We're going to see a lot of that. Well, we're not seeing Ayawali do it for the UAE, are we? But straight away there, Ruckner showing that she's got a little bit of quality about her, just trying to release that ball early and cause a few problems and just get that UAE side turned and facing their own goal as quickly as possible. Again, putting pressure on uh, Nyla, or Najla rather. It's going to be a corner, and they're going to take this short. Back from Monica, she's gone all the way back to a keeper. Ruckner. Oh, effortless, really, from Aki. The flag has stayed down this time, and it is an opportunity to get the goal. And they have got the opening goal here. Shotna makes a 1 0 for Bangladesh to the delight of the crowd. And there has been threatening, hasn't it? They play the percentages, and it's worked out this time for Bangladesh. Well, we said all you've got to do is just stay on side, just bend that run, stay and play on the shoulder. That's exactly what she did this time. And you can see just breaks through. There's no way that Fatima is going to catch her because we know she's got the pace. I'll tell you what, that just gets away from her, but she just stabs it under the keeper. It's a cool, calm finish from Shopna. And we said she knew where the back of the net was. The opportunity came. That's exactly what she's done. A deserved lead for Bangladesh. She has just written her name into the history books, the first ever goal in this competition. The Bangamata Under-19 Women's International Gold Cup 2019. And Siraj Ahan Sopna has done fantastically well there. But Paul, it's that, it's that little ball dicked over, isn't it? A lovely ball played forward from Aki again, who looks very comfortable on the ball. She tried to play one a little bit earlier and it was given offside that time, it came to fruition. There's Alamud. He brought the ball back and excellent challenge from Monica. 